Welcome back to the channel guys. Today before we get started, I want to show you guys the new shirts I just had made. Logo in the front and in the back. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this inverted, but I also had them made in white. I'm going to show you guys my wife that she has it on in white. And today basically it's three o'clock. It's the afternoon. It's a Thursday. Not really too bad of a day, a little bit of a wind, which says it's gonna calm down by the end of the day. And I got the boat in the water and we are gonna go to Isla Morada and enjoy that it's nice and it's peaceful. Like a day like today, it shouldn't be that packed. So it should be a great time and we should have the whole sandbar to ourselves. So we're gonna get ready to get out there and I'm gonna bring you guys along with the ride. So here we go. Guys, this is the white one. See the front? Boom. How's it feel? Oh my god, look at that Iwana. Oh shit! As I was gonna say, we are heading out. Gotta see finally when we get out there. I might go through the bay side. If it's too too windy, I know on the way back I'll be able to come in through the ocean side because it's gonna be a lot less windy on the way back so got the wifey here driving and I can't wait to bring you guys a special look of what the sandbar looks during the week I've never gone during the week so I don't even know what to expect so I'm gonna bring you guys out there and for those of you guys that don't like all the craziness all the crazy parties and the loud music maybe coming through the sandbar on a weekday is your thing we're gonna find out today so here we go all right, we made it out of the channel, and as you guys can see, super choppy. Super choppy. I thought the wind would die down by the afternoon, but I guess not yet. So, you know what that means, guys? We're gonna go into the base side. So here we go. see it's full of people for a Thursday I mean we are on spring break but still there's a lot of people here for a Thursday got the anchor ready the flag up I just gotta find a good parking spot the most important thing you need to know 
about anchoring is being ready before you even find your spot. As you guys saw, I already had the back anchor set up already. So on a day like today, that there's an extra element with the wind kicking pretty much. I used the motors to kind of get me in between these both boats. And right around now, I started dropping my anchor. A good rule of thumb is looking at the other boats and seeing in the positions they are in relative to their anchor if it's straight back if it's to the side and that'll kind of give you a good idea where the wind is going to take you so basically i just used the back engine to keep me from running into the boat as you guys see right behind me and little by little i kept giving it more slack until i got to the perfect place where i wanted to be which is right in between these two boats right before trimming up i gave myself a little push with the engines so I don't run into the boat right behind me and I went ahead and trimmed up guys you never want to turn off your engine until you're finally secured because if for some reason you lose anchor that extra second that it takes for you to turn back your engine you lose it alrighty guys we anchored up nice and smooth We're able to find a nice spot here set my back anchor and look how high the tide is that I'm literally anchored right next to the flag Can you hear? usually all this is on low tide out of the water where it's like maybe half a foot where i'm standing now but on a day like today it's all the way up and this flag was just replaced about a week ago because the high winds had taken the old flag Hanging out here in the sandbar and like I say for a Thursday there's a lot of people out here I did not expect this many boats out here I told my wife maybe two three four but there's at least 25 30 boats here alrighty guys as the day is coming to an end here I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day Everybody's starting to leave. The tide is starting to go down. I just felt touching bottom, so I'm trying to get out of here before it goes down too low. So here we go. All right, so leaving the sandbar is usually a lot easier than anchoring up at the sandbar, especially when you don't have anybody in front of you how I do. So basically, I just started to pick up the anchor using the automatic winch, and I was in a very shallow area, so I couldn't use the engines just yet. But once I get out of that shallow area, I go ahead and dip them down, and as soon as the anchor is all the way up from the sand to the boat, I go ahead and put the boat in 
forward, make sure the wind doesn't take me back into the sandbar. And just like that, it's easy to get out. Alrighty guys, we had a great afternoon out here. And now, got the little one driving, heading us out, back to the base. Even though it's a lot less windy, the wife says that she likes the scenic route, so we'll go the scenic route and head all the way back home, guys. Looks like the tour is over, guys, for these people. Bringing them back to Whale Harbor. guys we made it back safe and sound and all we got to do is anchor up put it on the lift clean this baby up flush it and it'll be ready for our next trip Alrighty guys, she's washed up, inside, outside, flushing the last engines back here, and she's ready to go for the next trip, which is hopefully very soon. Like I always tell you guys, if you like my videos, just gotta hit the subscribe button, the thumbs up button, it's free, it doesn't cost you absolutely nothing, and it helps me a lot in helping my channel grow. Also, if you guys like these shirts, want to get one, let me know. I only ordered a couple just for me and my family. So when we go on the boats and we all match and look good. But if this is something you guys are interested in, most importantly, what I liked about it is today, I stayed pretty cool the whole day. They were as good as the Hulk shirts you guys always see me watch, which is what I stressed when I made these shirts. I wanted that same material to be as close as possible because I love wearing the Hulk fishing shirts. So I wear them all the time. But... They don't have the uh, Miami Living logo. So now with these, they got my logo on it. So I had a lot of people at the sandbar ask me about the shirt and what it was and what it was representing. So it was a good talking point. So let me know if you guys like them. Um, shoot me a comment and we'll go from there. If I see a lot of people like them, I'll start making them and I'll make my website and I'll sell them for you guys. So let me know and till the next video.